In this tutorial, we'll discuss what to do if your footage is interlaced and your timeline is progressive and vice versa. You should watch the overview tutorial first to learn how to do the basics with Twixter and Avid Media Composer. We will assume for this tutorial that your frame rates are the same for both the input clips and the project settings. We will discuss changing frame rate in another tutorial. Let's start with the easy one. If your input is progressive and the timeline is interlaced, what you need to know to use Twixter is pretty straightforward. We will add the 720p and 29.97 frames per second clip to this interlaced timeline and add Twixter by going to the Project window and the Effects tab. We select Revision Plugins and Twixter and drag the icon to our clip. We're going to slow this clip down by a factor of 10, so we'll need to step in and copy and paste our sequence 10 times to extend the clip to the length of the new result, like we saw in the overview tutorial. Now we step out, select our clip, and go to the effect controls. We're going to choose speed for our time remapping mode and we will enter 10 in the dialog box to slow the clip by a factor of 10. Since the output is interlaced and the input is progressive, if we render this now and play it, we'll see that the footage will stutter because Avid assumes that the input and the output have the same interlacing settings. So that's what it tells Twixter, resulting in a stutter. Well, how do we get around that? The answer is to go to Twixter settings and change the input field setting to progressive. You need to manually make this change. Now, if we do a video mix down, we can see that our clip no longer stutters because Twixter was told that the input was progressive. Our result is now interlaced. Next, let's look at the opposite scenario. We now have a progressive project where the input is interlaced, which is a bit more complex. We can add our interlaced clip to the progressive timeline, and if I step through, Avid only displays the first field deinterlaced of each frame. Twixter will work properly if you just apply it to the clip directly but Twixter won't be taking advantage of both fields. If you want to have better results, we need to add a few more steps for a workaround. Before we apply Twixter, we need to use Media Composer's Time Warp in order to allow Twixter to see both fields. Go to the Effects palette and choose Time Warp and drag the Time Warp effect onto the clip in the timeline. If you get this error message, Effect does not apply, then you need to click on the Effect Mode button. The Motion Effect Editor will be displayed. Click on the Promote button and that will promote it to a Motion Effect. You will now be allowed to apply the Time Warp Effect to the clip. Now you can change the type to Interpolated Field and change the Source to Interlaced and the Output to Progressive. Now let's click on the Speed Graph button and select the only keyframe that's there and change it to 50. We want to play it half as fast so we see each field. The clip is actually slowed down 50%, so we need to extend the clip to make it twice as long to include all of the original footage. As we scrub through the timeline now, 
only the first field of each frame is shown, but if we change the video quality to full quality, the green setting, we can see each field. Now we're ready to add Twixter, and since we want to make it 20% of its current speed so that it's a factor of 5 slower, we need to step in and copy and paste our clip five times to extend the clip to the length of the new result. And then we step out, select our clip, and go to the effect controls. Note, because we use time warp to make the clip 50% slower in order to show us each field, we now need to compensate for that in Twixter. What we do is since we want it 20% slower, we will use two times that. So we enter 40% in the dialog box for the speed percentage. Now we're ready to render our final result using each field and giving us a nice smooth result. This is how we work with progressive and interlaced footage with Twixter and Avid Media Composer.